wow, things are really starting to happen now. I'm so excited. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Hey, welcome back to the Garden Diary. I have filmed a couple of snippets during the week here and uh, I'm not sure I'll be able to make sense of it uh, while editing, but uh, I'll try. And I thought I'd also take you on a quick walkthrough of the garden to check out what's happening right now. Okay, I thought I'd show you the vine as well. It's really starting to kick in now. Look at that. It's starting to look really good now. And in the autumn it will be yeah, even better. Pumpkins are blooming. At least the first one and the other two are actually looking healthier than they have in a long time. So, I think we made it. I think they survived. I have been a bit worried about them, but looks like everything turned out a-okay. Let's see if we can get a picture of this one. Look at that. So, this is the box with leek, and uh, we need to uh, we need to clean that up. There's leek there, and I've got some salad over here on this end. And in the next box, the dill has been planted. I'm hoping it will start growing for real soon. And here is some kale. Sorry about the motorbike. Some kale. And over here we have the lemon balm and the shives. And have also I got some basil over there. I've got some parsley. I've got some thyme and tarragon over there which I hope will um, pick up soon at least the basil and the parsley look like they are um, having a nice time of course there's the sunflowers still growing no flowers yet The phacelia is starting to come. Oh, you know what? See that? That is another sunflower. I put some seeds down as well. More phacelia. Phacelia is really starting to come along here. Nice. I wanted to have these for the bees because the bees love these. And there's some more sunflowers. Over there, and this is, hmm, let's see, what is this? Oh, I don't remember. Let's see if I can find out what I put there. Uh, no, I don't remember. We'll see. I do know I put some more seeds down. Maybe that was some first too. Here's something coming, and over there. Things are happening. Oh look, I got some wild strawberries. I also planted some seeds for wild strawberries. I need to come into a pot. Oh, you guys, look at this. We got rosebuds. That's nice. Got some more here hiding underneath. Oh, I can't wait for all of these to, to come. This is going to look so nice. It'll be full of red roses. The rhododendron, however, is done for now. Not much flowers left on this. It's actually a kind of a sad sight once it blooms over, but 
a few left here and there. They are absolutely gorgeous. Another rosebud. And here's one. I just got to show you this one up here is so beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Gorgeous. The nasturtiums are really growing now. Still have a couple of more that I'm going to put down in this pot. And we have try not to make you seasick. This is the morning glory. Just climbing. You see that? It's climbing. Very happy about that. Really hoping I will be able to get flowers on this one as well. And speaking of flowers, let me show you. The poppies are blooming now. Actually, several of them have already stopped. Look at this one. Isn't that gorgeous? It's actually kind of hard to film because of the bright colors. I also got these, which I'm not sure where they come from. This is not something I usually have in my garden. But it's very pretty. And I got one over here as well. A stray from a neighbor, probably. And there's a white one. And I have got... Some yellow flowers up there. I actually don't know what they're called. And they are really rather invasive, but they're pretty as well. I need to check up on what this is. Aren't those pretty? If anyone knows what it is, please comment. Leave a comment below. Let's go see some more puppies. So over here we have a lot of runaway puppies. I did not plant these. They have, I don't know, evacuated themselves over here. And these are pretty much done blooming now. There are a couple left. There's a big one. And you can see in here. Let's see if we can focus. That's where the seeds are. And the top will kind of pop up on these. Oh, let me see, did I have another one here? No, we can look at that one. The top will kind of pop up and then the seeds will be dry enough to, to pick and spread where you want them. Yeah. I also found that I had a whole bunch of poppies in here. And these are pretty much bloomed over. There's one left down here. But in here, you can see all these. All of these have been blooming poppies. A whole bunch of them. <laughs> also runaways. But I will be collecting seeds from these later on and putting in the flower patch where I want them to be, in the flower bed. And hopefully there will be more. I gotta show you. Here's another stray. Isn't that beautiful? Not sure. Not sure what to do with this one. If I should keep it here or if I should remove it. We'll see. So let's visit the pumpkins again. As you can see, they are doing a lot better now than they did for the longest time. Or they're starting to look healthy again. And now this one is about to bloom. Earlier this week was this one, which looks like it has yet another flower coming. 
very exciting. And over here, I have moved the chickpeas out here. It's been about, I don't know, a week, something. Um, I'm hoping they will start to grow properly soon. Now let's visit the daisies and the bluebells. Or daisies and bluebells to be. Still no flowers here. But they are growing really, really nice. Looks good. Now there's a part of garden life that I have been truly enjoying the past few days. And there's a pool. Pool cover is all scrunched up. <laughs> I'm gonna fix that later. Here we have the potatoes. And look at that. They are coming along really, really nicely now. This looks really good. A couple that haven't sprouted yet, but there's still time. And then along this edge over here, there's carrots all the way up. All the way up to the end here. Can you see this, those two small rows? Those are radishes. Also starting to grow. Looks really nice. And strawberries, you guys. Amazing. As well as a rhubarb, which is really starting to enjoy life. Look at this. Will be rhubarb, rhubarb pie before long. And I don't know if you can see. Can you tell I have a lot of strawberries coming there? All those light green berries. There will be strawberries soon. Yay! And like I said, I got my pool out, which is a is a mess. I need to add some more water into it, and I need to inflate that white edge again and I need to get my pool cover on straight. I've been having a cleaning day today so I have this huge rug outside. Actually it's plastic. I'll be cleaning it today. So it's just hanging to dry right now. I just thought I'd show you down here. Now this is where I dump all the stuff that I dig when I make my patches to grow stuff. So I'm just kind of building a ledge here. And I also got runaway puppies here. And I got some wildflowers as well. And this is an area that I would like to have more wild, so to speak. And I'm going to add some, some dirt on top. And spread some summer flowers here as well for the bees. So I'm hoping they'll enjoy that. Okay guys, are you seeing this? These are the petunias and the next week I will mount them on the edge here. But look at that, it looks like salad. <laughs> really nice. I gotta show you what the vine is doing. It's climbing up on the balcony here. <laughs> Look at that. It's climbing up over the edge here and down there. Can you see the boxes? That's the wall covered in vines. So yeah. It's a climber, for sure. I thought I would show you the tomatoes and chilies and bell peppers and cucumbers growing inside as well. I'm hoping it's not too dark. No, it's not. It looks good. So, we have been pollinating on these. I mean, look at how they grow. It's crazy. 
could probably should probably make a hole in the ceiling. <laughs> uh, anyway, we are actually starting to have teeny tiny tomatoes. There's the first one. Can you see it? The first tomato. I do have a couple of others that are starting as well, but they're so tiny, so it's really difficult to see them. Here are the chilies. Looking good. Also growing very tall. I've had a couple of flowers on these. Oh, there's one. But not too much action yet. Here are the bell peppers. I've had more flowers. And seem a bit further along, even though they're smaller. Flower there. So I'm excited to see what will become of those. But you gotta see the cucumbers, guys. Now this, you guys. First of all, look at how they're growing. And I don't know what they're doing in the middle there. They're kind of really tangled. I kind of latched onto that hook and to themselves. <laughs> All the things and all those for the flowers are cucumbers to be quite small ones but they're there there's more underneath here and wait till you see the next one this one has a lot the one up there and there's one, and there's one, and another one. Oh, sorry, I'm shaking. <laughs> and there's one, there's one, and here are a couple of big ones. That is the biggest one of all. We'll be done first. And even here. Now I counted and there are at least 23 cucumbers coming, but then there are also, let's see if we can spot, can you see that tiny one? That, that will also be about um, cucumber eventually, I didn't even count those. So just the big ones are at least 23 cucumbers. There will be a lot of salad in this house this summer, but this is so much fun. So much fun. Yeah, that's it for this week. Uh, things are sure starting to happen. Um, uh, of course, very excited about what's happening next week. I'm very excited about the tomatoes. And, well, who am I kidding? I'm excited about everything. So I hope we'll, you'll follow along for the next one as well. And I'll see you then. When Bye. We wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight